Stop wasting time getting mediocre videos from Google's VO2. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact prompting formula Google wants you to use to get mind-blowing results consistently. You will not believe the difference. For example, we have this prompt here, generate a video of a pathway through a vibrant landscape made entirely of candy. This looks okay at best, but it can look substantially better. So I'm going to show you how to set up system instructions in this video or create a gem to make your prompts better. But you can see here, we put in the same exact prompt and it says, hey, I can help you create a detail detailed prompt and it's going to ask us some questions. So what kind of candy do we want? The landscape and so on and so forth. We're going to fill this out. Now we have our optimized prompt. We're going to go back to Gemini and we're going to paste it in and we'll see what it comes up with this time. This is what we got from our prompt optimizer, which is absolutely amazing in comparison to what I just showed you. Let's do one more example. Generate a video of a dense overgrown jungle covering the top of a modern skyscraper. Before I forget, and just to be clear, you can generate these VO2 videos using AI Studio or through Gemini itself or Vertex AI. You're going to get the same result as long as you follow this guide. And the guide is completely free, as is subscribing to this channel. So I cover the latest and greatest AI content on a daily basis, so you can stay up to date by just clicking subscribe. So just go do it right now. Let's continue. This is our video of a jungle covering a skyscraper. We're going to throw it back into the prompt optimizer. We're going to take the prompt it just gave us, paste it in. This is the updated version through our prompt optimizer. It is night and day different. It, this is substantially better. As you can tell, the detail, everything, it looks amazing. Speaking of detail, obviously the more detail that you add, the better it is, but that's not all there is to it. Google has a video prompting guide and I'll have a link in the description below if you want to read more, but I'm going to quickly go through the most important bits of this and narrow it down to four main things you need to include plus two optional plus a tip. So let's scroll down here and you can see the list here for basics of writing a good prompt. The first thing we're going to need is a subject. This is the main thing our video is going to be about. Our subject can be a person, an animal, it can be whatever we want. In our example here, we have a cheerful gingerbread man, and we're going to add some information about our subject. So I said slightly cracked but smiling, decorated with bright white icing buttons and a crooked red icing bow tie. Up next, we need context. So this is where our subject is going to be. Going back to our gingerbread example, we can say, hey, he is standing smugly on the edge of a flour dusted wooden kitchen counter next to a half empty glass of milk and scattered chocolate chip cookie crumbs. Now we have set the scene of what our gingerbread man looks like, as well as what the background looks like. We still need to decide what action our subject is taking. So is he walking? Is he smiling? Is he waving? Is he jumping? What is happening? So in our example here, we are going to have our gingerbread man waving one stiff arm enthusiastically towards the viewer, appearing eager but slightly clumsy and almost losing balance. The fourth and final thing that you must include is a style. So you can include keywords or just different words that describe styles that you want to include in your video. So the style of this one here, I said warm, inviting, slightly stylized animation look, emphasizing texture, the cookie surface, icing, and character expression. So we have subject, context, action, and style. Those are the four you need. There are some optional factors that you can include, such as camera motion. Do you want an aerial shot? Do you want to be at eye level, top down, low angle? You can adjust the composition. So do you want it up close, far away? And then lastly, you can adjust the ambience. How does the light contribute to the scene? Do we want warm tones, cool colors? There's a lot of options. So just to add more to our prompt, I'm going to add the optional ones. Eye level, medium shot, capturing the gingerbread man and immediate surroundings, milk, glass, crumbs, soft, warm kitchen lighting, perhaps from late afternoon sun filtering through the window off screen, creating a soft shadow. There is the full prompt that we just created using Google's own prompt guide. So let's see how it came out. And here is our gingerbread man. So we can see him waving, his arms are cracked. We have all the details. We have the cookie crumble, the lighting effect in the bottom left. So if you look here where the cookie is, you can see a little light coming through. It looks pretty good. Now let's be honest, creating a prompt like that is a lot of work, too much work. I am a lazy person. There is a faster way. Once again, I'll have a link in the description below for you, but you can see here we have the expert VO2 video prompt engineer. So I have my website, franklina.com. You can go there, you can get access to tools, news, videos, prompts. And there is, if you scroll all the way down, there's a little newsletter you can join. I send one email per week 
getting you up to date with the latest and greatest AI content. No spam, I promise you. So with all the self promotion out of the way, there is this copy button here and we can copy it. Now we have two options. So we can go to the gem manager and we can hit new gem. In my case, I already have one set up so I can just hit edit and you can just literally just paste this in. You can start talking to your gem and start creating better prompts. The other way, and if you want to do it for free, you can come to AI studio. You can click this for system instructions. You can paste this in, you can click off and you can just start typing and it will create a good prompt for you to generate a video following everything I just showed you. It may ask you questions for you to fill in. It might say, Hey, what do you want your video to look like? And it might keep asking you some follow-up questions to fine tune your prompt to make the video however you want it to look. And if you made it this far, I'm going to show you one more important tip when generating videos. So if we scroll down on this page here, it gives you all sorts of information, but we have even more tips, add more details, but that's not the important thing. The important thing is further down the page here somewhere is negative prompts. So we do not want to use language such as no or don't. So no walls or don't show walls. We don't want to do that because the large language model has no clue what nothing is. It doesn't have the idea of what nothing is. So what we want to do is we want to describe what we want to see. So instead of saying, I do not want Oreo cookies next to the gingerbread man, we can say, Hey, please make the cookies in the background chocolate chip. So that's the difference. And again, and if you've made it this far, don't forget to subscribe. You can help me approaching 10,000 subscribers. So that would be great. And especially if you enjoy AI content and you want to see more stuff like this, leave a like on the video. It tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have tried the prompt optimizer that I've shared. Does it make a difference for you? I'd love to know, love to help you guys out. So let me know in the comments below. And most importantly, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. to be